One of the country music's biggest stars is here in western New York tonight. In just over an hour, Garth Brooks will take the stage at the First Niagara Center for the first of six concerts right here in the Queen City. But before taking the stage, he spoke with 7 Eyewitness News. 7 Eyewitness News reporter and country music fan Katie Morse going one-on-one -on -one with Brooks today. She's live at the First Niagara Center with the story. That's right, Joanna. We're here at the First Niagara Center right now. As you said, concert doesn't start until 7.30, but thousands of people have already gone to take their seats. And who can really blame them? It's been 17 years since Garth Brooks was here in Buffalo. But this time, fans have plenty of chances to see him. The country superstar performing six shows over the next four days. And as you said, he took time out of his schedule to talk to us today. Garth says he's ready. He's got the energy to perform, although he did admit sometimes when he gets to that last show, his voice isn't quite as strong because he just can't stop himself from screaming at all of the other shows. He's known to be quite the show. Now, a lot of families were in line here tonight to get into the show. Garth told us that's something he thinks about, especially when he's setting ticket prices. A long time ago, he was able to keep his prices as little as $20 a seat. You can't really do that anymore. But this time, tickets came to about $66 each, including everything. And Garth says, as a family man, that's part of the reason why he wants to keep tickets so low. That's always been something that's important to you, cheap ticket prices. I go to a lot of country concerts. These are not that bad. You know what? I got to say, I don't think there is a cheap concert ticket anymore. I just don't because, you know, nobody ever comes by themselves. So double it. Bring your kids. Double that. If not, babysitters. Dinner. Parking. You want a T-shirt. want a beer. I mean, it gets, it gets expensive. It was really a pleasure to talk to him today. He just seems like a genuinely down-to-earth, really nice guy. Again, worried about how much people are paying to come see him and trying to keep those prices low. Now, being from Buffalo, I had to talk food with him. So how does Garth Brooks like sponge candy? Well, I gave him some today. And stick with us through the 11 o'clock show tonight. We're going to give you his reaction. That's later tonight at 11. We're live at the First Niagara Center. Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.